in previous session we have seen what artificial neural networks are and how they are constructed now when an artificial neural network is generated the weights for all the links and the biases for all the nodes are initialized randomly and the predicted output of such an artificial neural network for any given input will have large error with respect to actual or expected output for the input so the next question we face is how do artificial neural networks learn to predict the correct output given some input and in this also the artificial neural networks get inspiration from the way humans learn one of the ways in which humans learn is under supervision or guidance of a teacher or guide for example when we want to learn to solve new type of problems we first go through some solved examples the solved example not only have question but also the solutions and the final answers once we have done that we move to unsolved exercise where we only have the question and we try that question and say find some answer now if our final answer is same as the actual or expected answer then we are done and we move to next question however if our final answer is different from the expected or correct answer then we have to go back to solved examples and revise our concepts and try the question again and find another answer and we keep trying this till our final answer is same as the expected or actual answer and this process where our learning is supervised by the correct answer or actual answer or expected answer is called supervised learning in the same way an artificial neural network learns under supervision of the actual or expected output for a given input so the learning approach of artificial neural networks is called supervised learning however unlike learning to solve well defined mathematical problems where our final answer is exactly same as the actual or correct answer in artificial neural networks in general we may not be able to predict the exact same output as our actual output for all the inputs so in general there will always be some error and our objective of learning is to come up with values of weights for links and biases for nodes that will minimize this cumulative error for all the input output pairs in our training data set the function that measures the cumulative error for all the input output pairs is called loss function or cost function and as our objective is to minimize this loss function this is also called our objective function now there are several loss functions that our artificial neural networks can use for learning from our training data set and we will select an appropriate loss function depending on the type of problem that we are interested in solving so for example for regression problem the most common loss functions are mean absolute error which is defined as average of the absolute value of difference between predicted output and actual output and here n is number of observations in our training data set the mean absolute error is also called l1 loss because l1 norm of difference between predicted output and actual output is defined as absolute value of their difference second loss function for regression problems is mean squared error where we take average of square of difference between predicted output and actual output and the mean squared error is also called l2 loss because l2 norm of difference between predicted output and actual output 
is defined by square of the difference between the two. Similarly, for classification problems, the outputs are likelihoods or probabilities and in that case, the cross entropy loss function is most appropriate. The average cross entropy is defined as average of this expression which is called cross entropy. Here yi is the actual label for our input data and yi hat is predicted label. So now how do we minimize our loss function that we will see in next session.